G'day guys, my name's Tommy, and you're watching Pixel Life Gaming. And I'm only joking guys, I'm not going to start the video like that. I want to have a big shout out to Jawudo though, who do, who is like an incredible YouTuber, content creator, and uh, who actually inspires me to do a lot of my builds as well on 7 Days to Die. So big shout out to him, go check him out. He's not sponsoring me or anything, he's just... Uh, an inspiration I just want to show out there. But anyway, so this is uh, Seven Days to Die Alpha 19. Uh, so Alpha 19 actually just dropped yesterday. I've literally had the game for less than 24 hours. And um, yeah, they've changed some of the things um, in regards to building and horde bases. Um, so you can't exploit them like you did in uh, Alpha 18. So for example, the wedge tips that a lot of people were using where zombies would run over it and then they would slip down. You can't do that anymore with the wedge tips. However, in this video, we're going to go over some other blocks that you can use to help build you your hot base. So let's jump right in, shall we? Right, so I'm in my testing world here, uh, and these are some builds that I've kind of uh, just mocked up um, as if they were in Alpha 18. So normally, uh, a lot of people do this. This by all means not the only horde base that was built in Alpha 18, but this is one I built in Alpha 18 uh, on like day 7. Bearing in mind, it's obviously concrete, but this will be done in flagstone. I just use concrete just because... It's my go-to block, but anyway. So um, this would be the uh, this would be the typical day seven like horde base. Uh, this would be all cobblestone. They would jump up here, and then it was these blocks that would essentially be the ones that cause the zombies to slip. They could see it, but they could not hold onto it. So what they would do is they would run along, run along, and then they would fall off, right? Because they couldn't have a grip on it. Well, in Alpha 19, they actually changed that, so zombies can actually path over this block. So just to demonstrate that it doesn't work, I'm going to sit in here. I'm going to get a uh, cheerleader here. And we're just going to let her go. And as you can see, she's kind of did that falling effect. But she's still on the actual wedge tip has itself. So she doesn't actually kind of fully stand on top of it. But she kind of stands on the edge. But you see what I mean. Um, yeah, and then she does that looping mechanic. Comes back around. And does it again. So you see, like so, she stands right on the block. So this this wedge tip thing no longer works anymore, guys. So we ca we can't do this. However, we can still use the pathing uh, that they really wanted to. Right. So um, before we go on to the base that I actually have built, I'm going to show you um, that this, although this doesn't work, it can still kind of work over at this one. So if we go over to here. We can still see that we use the wedge tips, but we added a wedge tip here, so they actually have to jump over, and we have some utilized some wedge tips around here, so they don't fully, uh, well, they don't fully like have a block to stand on. So essentially, what's going to happen here is that they're going to jump up here again, same as before, jump over, jump over this block, but then actually slip down into the into the basket hoop, if you like, the basketball hoop, go down. And then they walk around again, all right? And just to demonstrate that how that works is I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to spawn a cheerleader right here. There she goes. She jumps around. Up the walkway. Over the hub. And she actually manages to grip on this time, but uh, I've seen it actually where she doesn't actually grip on. So let's try that again. Again, this is not like 100% accurate. There's a couple here. But it does demonstrate that they do uh, stand on the wedge tips now. But again, this is... Uh, I've seen that. There you go. So she's fallen over. And so has she. So if they've got... If they've managed to build the momentum, they actually do fall over. However, if you spawn a couple, because you get a few more, they do stop each other sometimes. And they do actually path over to one side. So if I stand this side... Maybe one of them will path over. Yeah, you see, so they kind of just stop. Stop each other. And she's managed to path over. As you can see. Alright, so that's just to demonstrate that and how it worked in Alpha 18. Using a similar uh, technique is instead of using the actual wedge tips themselves, I'm going to use the wedge tip corners, as you can see here. 
So these are the ones that actually go on the corners. And the idea is that they, again, path along here. But instead of pathing directly towards you, they're going to try and path diagonally to this block here. Since this is the path that, um, that the AI is going to try and go. They're going to try and jump from this block to this block to this block to this block. Because they... In their head, this, these are solid blocks. However, because there's a gap in between, and unlike these wedge tips here that they're actually touching, there is actually a gap in between. So even if they do try to grip on, the momentum stops them from actually moving down towards, um, towards you. So again, just to demonstrate this, let's spawn in the cheerleaders here. Let them to go. So they... So same as before, they're going to go up here, walk along here. They're going to try and jump onto this block, but they can't, you see? They can't. Because there's a gap in between and nothing to actually grip onto. Sometimes they do actually uh, manage to stop. And she's beating up stuff. But this is the enraged thing though. So they'll path along here again. After a while. There you go. So that's a new AI as well. So if they, if a zombie cannot get to you, um, they will start to like bash on blocks as well. So that's something to consider. And every so often you will get one coming towards you that actually ma managed to make it through. But again, this is, this is well protected. So if you do get the one, you should be able to manage it quite well. But essentially most of the time they're going to path along and fall down. Okay. And you can build this out of all like cobblestone as well, ignoring the bars. You don't, you don't need the bars at all. Um, and uh, we'll just demonstrate how to how to build this. Really, there is one thing you can actually do here that I forgot to do, uh, and you can actually use quarter blocks to help them fall. Uh, but again, so you can instead of using the corners here, what you can do? Oh, let me get my digger. So instead of using those blocks, you could actually utilize uh, one eighth blocks. Uh, which is this one. And you can put them like so, like this. Oh, right there. So uh, the idea behind that is that if they do manage to get across, there's a gap here that they're going to fall on. It's the same in this one that I kind of looked, but I, I used the uh, the wedge tips be just because they look a little bit better. But you can use one eighth blocks as well. I mean, it should be quite easy to, to see what you're doing. So essentially what you're going to do is uh, day seven, you're going to build a platform like so. Right? This is going to be your main platform that you're going to stand up with. And it doesn't matter if it's like 3 high or 4 high. We're going to do 4 high here. Uh, and you can put up this way. Like so. And this will be your platform. And then you, what you want to do is you want to get your uh, cobblestone tips here. Uh, you just want to build that. And again, you can either do this either uh, with one eighth blocks or you can do this full blocks. I'm going to use um, these uh, wedge tip right here, like so. And then same on this side, like so. And just to give it a little bit of stability as well, um, what I want to do is I want to just support this as I'm building it. So you can see here, that's going to be supported there like that. Just to give it a little bit of stability with cobblestone, this uh, with flagstone, sorry. And I'm also going to put a little bit more on top. I don't want them to path along here and then be able to walk on this block as well. So I'm going to put it a little bit higher just so they don't be, uh, they're not able to jump on it on top. And then here, uh, we're going to carry on with this build right here. So we're going to go facing here and then opposite corner. Same here, opposite corner. And same here, opposite corner. Right, like so. Right? And then you put your walkway underneath. And that's it, really. So um, that's that's your path. You can put a cage around it, of course. But uh, day seven, you're not going to really... Oh. 
day seven, you're not really gonna be bothered about uh, vultures or anything like that. Uh, you're not gonna have any spiders on day seven. And as you level up, you're gonna um, be able to upgrade it all into concrete, uh, reinforce like flagstone um, and whatever really. So let's just uh, spawn in a zombie cheerleader feral. Let's keep her going. Let's go. She can't even make it up the stairs, bless her. Come on, cheerleader, you can do it. She runs across. Oh, she actually made it across. Well, that failed, didn't it? Let's try that again, shall we? Right, so we've put a cage on it. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, we just added uh, a side on the wall here, putting a roof on top, and then put the wooden door in. Uh, obviously, you're going to have like a little ramp here that you can jump up to. Let's see if we can do that again. And uh, let's see if the chili would have... Uh, will uh, show me up this time. So let's do a couple again. Let's see if they do it. Let's see if they make it across. There's one. There's two. She failed. She failed too. There you go. That's it. This is for day one. And then if anybody, any any of the zombies that actually make it through, you can just pew pew them away. So I'm just going to do like a bow here. You can have like what, a primitive bow. Uh, maybe some stone arrows or something. Uh, let's see. Stone arrows, like so. Um, and then you can, what, you're gonna have a, like a club or something like that? So let's get a club. Uh, let's not make it an OP club, let's make it a really scummy club. Level 2 club. Right. There you go. So if she, if she makes it through, pop on the head. There she goes. Again, majority of them are not gonna make it through at all just one or two that make it through right and you can stand this side or if you're if you're playing on a multiplayer server with some friends as well one of you can stand this side as well you know one of them can like shoot along along the corridor or maybe you found a junk turret as well so you you put that over there and that'll fire across that's fine or let's let's put in a junk turret as well uh let's again let's do a really crappy junk turret it's nothing too op uh, junk turret, there we go. Let's do a level 2 junk turret. Let's do some junk turret ammo. Uh, these ones here. And then you put them on, you put them down like that. So whilst that's pew pewing away, you could just kind of sit back and relax, really. Still utilizing the looping mechanic, except instead of going straight across, you're now utilizing um, a diagonal pathing, if you like. Again, this is purely, purely for support as well, in case one of these blocks managed to break. Uh, and also just to stop, actually get them to hit. So, yeah, that's it really. So we can actually make, expand this base into something a little bit more appealing. So uh, in Alpha 19 as well, um, zombie, sorry, vultures uh, will actually hit the block above you. So uh, that's something that you need to consider. So you can't just have a flat top anymore. This won't do because eventually the vultures will actually break in and start pecking at your noggin, right? So what the best thing I think I could come up with is we let's uh, let's get our junk turret wherever you got it. Oh, it's up here. So I essentially took that same build, made it. Uh, it's all steel, but don't worry about that. You can make this into concrete. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I put some iron bars in the front. Here, like so. And the reason for this bar here, so this bar here uh, is just to support uh, the, the iron bars. But I also noticed that if I put a bar that was horizontal as well, um, the cops could actually spit at you. If you put the poles in like this, these are just normal fence poles. If you put them in like that, you can actually hide behind them as well, and then uh, cops spit won't actually hit you or all the vultures as well. But anyway, uh, on with the extra part that I built. I put in a second floor in and what I've done is I've lined it with plates as you can see here. There's a bit of plate on the, around the outside and then iron bars around the top here. I put a ladder in uh, just so I can get in from from the top, from the bottom. And then what you could do is you could just put your junk turret right here. Like so. So that that when, he, when any like vultures come in, uh, this junk turret will start attacking them. And it's going to be active all the time because you're only going to be here 
uh, underneath it and you can hear it kind of like just whirring away in the background. So just to try and prove that point, let's see if we can get uh, a vulture in. So let's do a couple of radiator vultures. So you can already hear that they're kind of pew pewing away. So that vulture's gonna come down. You can't really see it. But I'm just gonna go up here. But you see that turret's kind of like shooting already. If you can actually see it. There you go. If you if you if you're further down it'll actually uh it'll actually shoot a little bit better. Because they're gonna start flying a little bit more. So let's move around here to the front. You can hear that as well. So you can hear that the, the turret will actually go ahead and um, and actually shoot. And if they're either coming from the front as well, you can start shooting from the front here. Like so. Okay. Not the best demonstration, I do have to admit. Um, but essentially, you get the idea. This platform just needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, down bird. Uh, just a little bit bigger. And it will actually give you a better coverage. So... To expand on this, let's go over to my mega base. All right, here we are at the uh, mega horde base that I prepared earlier. So essentially what I've done is I've taken the same elements that we had previously over at the other bases uh, and then made it a little bit bigger. So over here, as you can see, we have this walkway that goes up along here. We have our um, wedge tip corners over here and I've done it so that uh, instead of going just one way, they're going to go both ways, so you have the option. So if this fails, you can always use this. Or for the fact that if you have multiplayers, uh, you can all you can both like stand along this side. Or maybe you can have one junk turret here. Or you can both have two junk turrets here. Or four if you both went down the intellect route. So you can have um, two junk turrets each. So we've done that. And then what I've also done is I've added these like segments on the side. Uh, which have uh, electric fences and that's all powered by this one uh, switch over here so you can turn those off and we'll... yep, you can see those work so that's powered and that's protected by this uh, and then yeah there's reinforced concrete on the side inside we've added another layer uh, so these are quarter blocks uh, and they span across and the reason why I've used quarter blocks instead of just normal blocks is that if you see the vultures you can actually shoot up here as well at the same time if you uh, if you want to put your junk to up here to shoot um, they'll shoot and if they happen to break this this adds like a little extra layer of defense against vultures so that's for that as well right in addition uh, to what I've already built here is another neat trick as you can see here underneath you can, might be wondering what are these blocks down here these are just essentially uh, four fence posts if we can just demonstrate over here so if you put one here like this rotate and same here rotate and same rotate they make a strut like this so that's four blocks in one corner and I've done this because um, I watch Grand Spartan on YouTube. If you don't know him, you should. I totally recommend his channel. Grand Spartan is an incredible, incredible seven days to die streamer uh, and um, content creator. He makes incredible bases and he's been doing it for ages. And I, uh, after watching his uh, one of his videos, I've seen this uh, and I thought I'd um, try and use it into incorporate that into my ba uh, base design. So essentially, um, the poles because they are not a pathable block they're not really seen by the zombies so if you try to uh, do a walkway that incorporate like poles like this they wouldn't path over it because they, it's not a block that they can actually see to walk over but, but you can utilize that to your advantage so what you can do uh, if you use it vertically like like we've done here um, they actually don't hit it that often and because it's a smaller surface area they tend to just path right beyond it so what I've done is I've put everything onto these uh, four block fence poles really uh, all the way around the side and around here uh, and then obviously around this side you just want to utilize like I don't know whatever whatever stairwell you want you can make this elaborate as you want so I just do want to say that um, this is just an expansion 
of basic fundamental ideas, right? So we've just basically used this idea of the wedge tips and just expanded upon it, right? These are optional, you don't need these. This roof is optional, you don't really need this. Uh, I do recommend the at least the uh, the quarter blocks for the for the zombie, uh, sorry, the irradiated vulture spits that you're gonna get. Uh, and yeah, we we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of play with it. So we're gonna do a horde night. Um, I have upped it to insane and 64 zombies, and uh, we'll just see how it works. Let's see, ST, let's do day 700, uh, and then do 22 mi uh, hours and then minutes. So it's day 700, Horde Night, we are at game stage 720 at level 300 uh, with um, insane 64 zombies. So can we hear them? Where are they coming from? Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Right, let's see. So this is all I have here, and as you see, they're uh, they come with it. Um, just for a bit of fun, I'm just gonna add the rocket launcher here. Um, let's also have like the molotovs. Uh, let's also add the the sledgehammer in case they get too close. But as you can see, they're not really pathing along. They're not they're not really reaching me at all. Let's stop you from spitting, sir. That's a nasty habit you have there, dirty copper. Dirty copper. All right, let's uh, let's maybe throw some molotovs just for a bit of fun. There you go. You can do that. Bit there. Uh, let's get the copper as well. I don't know. Let's uh, let's utilize the rocket launcher. Boom. What did they break? They broke something. Uh, let's uh, get this guy. She's made it here, so we'll just give her a knock. Something broke. What broke? Oh my life, how did that break? Well, okay, so that's something that we need to fix. I am not happy about that. Right, let's do that again, shall we? I'm gonna, I'm not happy with that. We'll fix that. Right, I am back. I was not happy that that copper managed to break through my, uh, my switch, uh, even though I covered it. So what I've done is I've added an extra uh, full block right here. I've added an extra plate on the side and the plate around here as well and on the front and the back and then I put it here with a hatch and then as well at this side I put a plate on top and then if that wasn't enough I put plate around the outside as well right if that breaks I have no idea how to cover my switch uh, and then there's something that we just need to kind of figure out um, or deal with but essentially this is gonna be the thing that you need to um, think about here right um, this pathing. Path so we'll start again. So let's do uh, kill all. Right, and let's do uh, set time. Day 700 again. Uh, 2200. Right, let's try that again, shall we? So that's turned on now, I think. I, I hope so. Straight away, we got a demolisher. Alright, great. Great, we'll just shoot his legs. Just to get him out of there. Great. He's down now. Let's just make sure he's uh he's down fully. He is one tanky mofo. Alright, let's uh, get some molotovs on there. Just deep up him a little bit. One over there too. Alright. Oh, cowboy made it across. Pop him on the head. Uh, let's see if anybody makes it across anymore. I think this works really, really well. So again, guys, wedge tip corners. Wedge tip corners is what we need to use. So you can see they're running around. And they're all kind of like clustered at the front there. But they're falling off. It gives you enough time. Um, as you can see, the fence poles that are supporting the whole like structure, they're not really taking any damage either. I'm not taking any damage either. Um, demolishers are fine, they're not popping from the electricity. I think this is a resounding success. So guys, if you want to use this design, go ahead and use it. Again, this is not the design, like the final design that you must use. 
I'm just giving you the information that I've learned and I've discovered myself, the witch tips I discovered before Alpha 18 that I've basically transferred over to Alpha 19. And um, yeah, go ham guys. I want to see your base design, um, my Discord links in the, uh, you know, in the comments below, in the description below. Um, I also stream on Twitch. Come over to twitch.tv slash pixelifegaming. Come say your hi. Say that you use my base design or base ideas. Show me all your images. So, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell button for our next video when it goes live. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.